r slash ask reddit what was your this person is on another level of stupid moment i locked my purse with my keys and cell phone in my apartment i went to the office to ask maintenance to let me in the woman at the desk said she would call maintenance and asked for a phone number they could reach me at i said there wasn't one because my cell phone was locked in my apartment she insisted she needed a number I said I could give her the number, but that I wouldn't be able to answer if they called. She suggested I get my phone out of my apartment, so that I could answer when they called. I rolled my eyes at her, and said if I could get in my apartment, to get my cell phone I wouldn't need maintenance to let me in. She never did understand me. But maintenance did show up 10 minutes later. Update, since a lot of people are asking. You don't need a key, to lock the door to the apartment just to unlock it. On the way out the door, I turned the lock on the back of the door knob, and then pulled the door shut, locking the door. I had put my keys in my purse, because I was also carrying a laptop bag and a few other things. I thought I picked up my purse with the other bags but I hadn't. Yes, I know I was stupid for locking myself out. Reminds me of the time my cell phone completely died, wouldn't power on even if I charged it, so I called Apple support. Guy asked what's wrong with my phone, I told him it won't turn on. He asks me to power it on, so we could troubleshoot. I tell him it won't turn on. He sighs and tell me he won't be able to diagnose the problem, if I won't cooperate, and power on my phone for him. To be fair to that guy, has probably used to the type of people that think their phone shuts off when the screen goes to sleep. I hate calling customer support for any technical issues. The first 10 minutes of me saying, I did that already, but I'll do it for you again. I once worked in a midwestern grocery store deli, and I was trying to explain to a woman that the name brand and generic brand of the macaroni salad that we carried were in fact identical. The woman yelled at me saying she could only have the generic brand because one is made with mayo and the other is made with mayonnaise and I don't like mayo. When I tried to explain that mayo is an abbreviation of mayonnaise, she just said, I'm from the south, I know my food and tut it away. She is going to be in for a shock when she goes to the pharmacy. For her prescription of mayonnaise? Yeah, she got it at the Mayo Clinic. Personally I would only go to the mayonnaise clinic. I got a concussion a while back. A friend of mine told me not to come close because it might be contagious. They weren't kidding. A girl in my school had gotten about 3 concussions within a year, and when she hit her head the 4th time, and blacked out for a minute, refused to go to the doctor because, last time they said, if I got another concussion it could cause brain damage, so I'm not going to let them give me another one. I think the third one might have done it for her. Ex-flatmate cancelled the gas and electricity contract, because it was too expensive. Wondered why we had no more electricity nor gas. She thought we paid 90 euros a month to get a hotline 24 over 7 in case of problem. I was friends with a couple who only had enough money to pay either the cable bill or the electricity. They paid the cable. A couple days later the power was turned off. I worked at a restaurant and we had a dish that was just a whole grilled chicken chopped into pieces. A woman who ordered for delivery called us, absolutely scathing, complaining that her order of one whole chicken only contained two chicken breasts. Had to explain to grown ass woman that chicken only have two breasts. To clarify, the rest of the chicken was also there. She was just expecting more than two chicken breasts. She stated this clearly to both me and my manager, who she insisted she speak to over this inconvenience. She wanted some of that total recall chicken. I also work at a restaurant, a couple years back, we actually got a delivery of weird mutated chickens that had three breasts. I mean it looked odd, but we actually thought it was really cool, extra meat you know? Unfortunately the supplier was worried about food safety so did a total recall on the whole batch. 
I had to explain to a girl, why you cold and grow your hair down in front of your face and just cut out eye holes. This is my favorite one, lol. I worked at a pet store in college. This customer asked me which food would make his pit bull swole. I suggested a high protein food with a good amount of exercise, but advised that a lot of it was determined by the dog's genetics. He asked me if we sold genetics. Rescued a cow walker on the side of the road with a flat tire, waiting for the tow truck, I pointed out the male at the top of their tire. They scoffed and looked at me, like I was the stupidest person in the world and exclaimed. That's not true, because it's flat at the bottom. I just walked away, and never brought it up again. Gosh what an idiot. Nails are always flat on the top. Except those pesky left handed nails. I had a bucket of nails one time that was almost 50% left handed. I was friends with with a guy who believed those fake Apple adverts like, Apple Wave, Microwave your phone for instant battery charge. I was so dumbfounded, that he actually fell for it. When I saw him the week after, and he had a new phone, it all clicked for me. At least he's got the money to fund his idiocy. Not everyone that buys a new phone every year can actually afford it. I used to work with a girl who was sweet but so dumb. We were in a meeting once and somehow someone mentioned baked ham. My manager said, oh, I hate ham. It looks like human flesh. The girl I mentioned was sitting next to me and looked horrified and whispered, does ham really come from people? I'd be more worried about the manager that knows what cooked human flesh looks like. I was once asked how it felt to come to the US as a refugee, I'm from Germany. She then looked rather surprised when I told her that Hitler has been dead for 75 years and that Germany is one of the more liberal countries in the world these days. She full on thought I fled Nazi Germany. Back in 99 over 2000 I was in the US with my German girlfriend at the time and we convinced my roommates that Germans live in Tupis. Some wigwams already had power but not all. Dated a guy, we watched Titanic. He thought the movie was stupid because the boat sank. It wasn't believable. You can't recover from that. Ever. It's such a stupid premise, though. Boats don't sink, they float. Everyone knows that, that's the whole reason for having a boat to begin with. Well they did say it was unsinkable. They said right in the movie the ship was unsinkable, and then at the end the ship sank. I don't understand how people can look past such glaring plot holes. I worked at a meat desk for a summer job, and a woman came in, and asked if we had any meat without spices or sauces. She then proceeded to tell us that the doctor had said that her dogs got sick because she kept feeding them pizza and they couldn't handle the spices. She then said, oh, but they love pizza so much, I feel bad for them. I'm probably still gonna feed them pizza. I hate people like this who knowingly harm their children or pets health. At least with children you can call CPS, but pets are sadly at these dumbasses mercy. Some people shouldn't be allowed to have animals. Like those people who deny their cats meat because they are vegan. This story is in good faith. I was asking my friend, Jay, when he learned about 9-11. He started telling me the specific story of how he walked outside and saw smoke everywhere and how he asked his mom about it, he claimed she said planes hit the towers. I stared at him just silently taking in the story. We live in the midwest, there was no way he saw the debris from the towers. Also we were born in 2003. Your story reminded me of a 9-11 experience I heard from two college freshmen. The first guy asks his friend where he was on 9-11 and he says Philadelphia. He was telling this guy how he saw one of the planes hit the pentagon. From Philadelphia. Then the first guy asks what the pentagon is. The second guy says it's a like a wrestling venue in New York City. My boss asked me to file the spam mail. 
this man was one of those people who think they are the smartest person in the room. So spam folder okay. Weird, but okay. I couldn't find any spam mail that wasn't already in the spam folder. Afternoon comes and he stomps over to my desk area and wants to know why the spam isn't in the spam folder as he throws a manila folder on my desk. The folder was labeled spam. He prints spam mail out and files it. And with any sign of skepticism on my face, he'd insist the IT guy told him that's where spam goes, so he got himself a folder and that was it. I had to get the duck out. The time a friend told me how much he hates potatoes, while eating french fries and I literally blew his mind, by telling him french fries are potatoes. Wonder how your friend would feel about onion rings, after learning what's inside those things. Potatoes? I work for Parks Canada in your home national park. I have been asked the question, seriously, where do you keep the animals at night? twice in my career. To this day I still find great joy imagining what they thought was going on each night as we collected every large animal in the parks. Oh man, I used to work in a gear shop near the Grand Canyon. I had someone ask me what elevation do deer become elk. They are confusing elevations with levels. To be fair they are both height based words. When a deer reaches level 35, they evolve into elk and then they can use strength. A rolled cowalker was telling me that there's people out there that think Alaska is an island. I laughed in disbelief, but another cowalker overheard, and was flabbergasted, what? It's not? But it's always drawn off to the side with Hawaii, point made. Another time a guy with a really thick accent walked in, same girl was like oh why I like your accent, where are you from? Said guy, have a guess her response. Have a guess? I've never heard of that place before. And walked away. She is super sweet, just slightly oblivious. Knew a girl in middle school that didn't understand the concept of perspective. She also thought north was whichever direction you were facing at the time. Ah yes, true north. Someone in my history class argued that misogyny was a type of pasta. I knew a kid in high school who thought Tortellini was a dictator. Benito Tortellini. Summer camp counselor made all the kids on a school bus keep the windows up on a hot day because they could feel the air conditioning coming from the front of the bus. It was so hot and I, maybe 10 years old at the time, had to explain to the 40 year old counselor that the air conditioning they were feeling was the wind coming in through the bus driver's open window. She still didn't believe me. I begged her to ask the bus driver to confirm the bus did not have air conditioning, but she didn't want to bother him while he was driving. It was like a one hour bus trip. She finally got hot enough and asked the bus driver if the bus had air conditioning. And he jokingly said, the bus only has air conditioning when the windows are down and the wheels are turning. She then looked back at me and said, see. I told you the bus had air conditioning and proceeded to force us to keep the windows up. How does someone that ducking dense become a teacher? If you find out please let me know, I'd like a career change. Had someone ask me, is Europe on Earth? I'm European and no, we live on Mars, lol. Back when the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster happened we were discussing how the reactor had failed in a science class. Five minutes into the conversation a girl piped up and said, I don't see what the big deal is. Why can't we just regrow it? She dead ass thought a nuclear power plant was. A plant. I used to say stupid shit like that as a joke, but people really started thinking I was dumb. I had a cowalker bring her 3 month old to work, and I asked if she needed a kid's meal while I went on lunch. She understood the joke, but another cowalker gave me a nasty look and went off on how I'm a terrible person if I think newborns can eat actual food. 
There was a girl in my high school who forced the teacher to pause a documentary about people living in mud huts in Africa because she was upset that they were showing us fictional movies in a history class. It took everyone else in the room to convince her that people actually live like that in some places. Wealthy area living for ya. Funny, in part because it's usually other way around. People who don't believe that there are modern cities in many countries in Africa. My friend is allergic to walnuts. One day, he made this sandwich in our college dorm. It had walnuts garnished on top of the bread. I then remember him telling me, oh look there's walnuts on here, and proceeds to eat the entire sandwich. At the time I didn't know he was allergic. I leave to shower, and when I come back there are two paramedics in our dorm taking him out on a stretcher. The following day, I asked what happened, to which he replies something along the line, I accidentally ate some walnuts, which I am allergic to, and by the time I went to get a Benadryl, my throat had started to close, and I couldn't swallow it, so I had to call 9, double 1. I was just utterly shocked how he even let this entire situation happen. I really couldn't believe it. College days, am I right? Once at my old job a cow orca came out the back, and I offered him some chocolate someone had dropped off for us. He thanked me, and popped it in his mouth, and then chewed it for a bit and cheerfully asked me, oh do you know, if there's nuts in this by the way? I'm allergic to them, so I shouldn't really be eating chocolate. I was like, what? I've literally never seen a bar of chocolate that didn't contain the may have traces of nuts warning, why are you eating this? And he goes, oh yeah, good point, and spat it into the bin, and then happily wandered back out the front like nothing had happened. I grew up in a country where English is not the first language. One day in elementary school we had to write an essay in our English class. I wanted to score an A, so I added a beautiful sentence with some very elaborate words towards the end. The teacher marked nothing wrong, but that particular sentence. She said it wasn't grammatically correct. I didn't have the heart to tell her that I straight up copied that entire sentence verbatim from an English textbook published by Oxford. This always annoyed me as a kid. I also grew up in a non-English speaking country, but my dad was American, so we spoke it at home and my teachers would constantly tell me I'm speaking wrong, or saying things, that don't make sense. I can't use this I'm left handed. It was a ducking shovel, and I was the idiot that thought a left handed shovel existed. 